American gospel singer Mandy Celine Hundley died on April 18, 2024, at the age of 47. She was best known for her songs, Good Morning, Overcomer, and Stronger. In 2006, she participated in the fifth season of the reality television show American Idol. In 2014, she won a Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. English actor Adrian Schiller died on April 3rd at the age of 60. He starred as Mr. Penge in the historical television series Victoria and Ethelhelm in the historical television series The Last Kingdom. In total, Adrian Schiller appeared in more than 80 films and television series. American football player and actor O.J. Simpson passed away on April 10 at the age of 76. He played in the National Football League for 10 years from 1969 to 1979, was selected to the Pro Bowl five times, and won the NFL Most Valuable Player Award in 1973. As an actor, he appeared in more than 35 films and television series. He played John Walker in the 1977 film Capricorn One, Jernigan in the 1974 film The Towering Inferno, and Detective Nordberg in the Naked Gun film franchise. American guitarist, singer, songwriter, and composer Dickie Betts died of cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease on April 18 at the age of 80. He was a founding member of the Allman Brothers Band. The band's most famous songs are Ramblin' Man, Whipping Post, and Jessica. In 1995, he was inducted with the band into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. American actress Barbara Rush died on March 31st at the age of 97. She starred in many popular films throughout the 1950s and 1960s. She played Lou Avery in the drama film Bigger Than Life, Marion in the musical film Robin and the Seven Hoods, Margaret Fremantle in the drama film The Young Lions, Ellen Fields in the science fiction horror film It Came From Outer Space, and Joyce Hendren in the science fiction film When Worlds Collide. In total, she appeared in more than 110 film and television productions in a career spanning more than 55 years. Canadian-American Hall of Fame journalist, writer, and television news anchor, best known for co-founding and co-hosting the PBS NewsHour, Robert McNeil, died on April 12th at age 93. American professional football player Vontae Davis died on April 1, 2024, at the age of 35. He played in the National Football League from 2009 to 2018. American actor and comedian, best known for his appearance in the sports comedy film Happy Gilmore, Joe Flaherty, died on April 1st at age 82. He was also known for playing Harold Weir in the TV series Freaks and Geeks. American actor Louis Gossett Jr. died on March 29th at age 87. He starred in numerous popular films and television series, including Joss 3D, Enemy Mine, An Officer and a Gentleman, and Watchmen. For his performance in An Officer and a Gentleman, he won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. American actor who played supporting roles in many films and television series, Ron Thompson, died on April 13 at the age of 83. American actress Barbara Baldwin died on March 31st at the age of 85. She was most known for portraying Angela in the TV series Star Trek. American-British actor Chance Perdomo died on March 29th at age 27. He starred as Andre Anderson in the television series Gen V. 
and Ambrose Spellman in the television series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Chance Perdomo was also known for playing Landon in the romantic drama film After We Fell. American DJ, broadcaster, and radio personality Mr. C died on April 10th at age 57. He was one of the best DJs in hip hop. American documentary film director and screenwriter Eleanor Coppola died on April 12th at age 87. She created the 2016 film Paris Can Wait. American music producer, songwriter, and co-founder of the production team Organized Noise, Rico Wade, died on April 12th at age 52. American singer C.J. Snare died of cardiac arrest on April 5th at the age of 64. He was the lead vocalist and founding member of the hard rock band Firehouse. American actor Cole Brings Plenty was found dead on April 5th at age 27. He played Pete Plenty Clouds in the Yellowstone prequel series 1923. Clarence Henry, an American singer most known for his song, Ain't Got No Home, passed away on April 7th at age 87. American producer Paula Weinstein passed away on March 25th at the age of 78. She produced numerous popular films and television series, including This Is Where I Leave You and Grace and Frankie. Canadian actress who played supporting roles in many films and TV series, Jennifer Leake, died on March 18th at age 76. American singer, actor, and comedian Steve Lawrence died from complications of Alzheimer's disease on March 7th at the age of 88. He was one half of the musical duo Steve and 80 alongside his wife, Adie Gorm as well as a solo artist. Steve Lawrence was best known for his songs, Go Away Little Girl and Portrait of My Love. As an actor, he has appeared in more than 30 films and TV series. German filmmaker, best known for creating the 1987 English language West German film, Baghdad Cafe, Percy Adlon, died on March 10, 2024, at the age of 88. British-American Oscar-winning screenwriter, best known for his work on the 2010 film The King's Speech, David Seidler, died on March 16 at age 86. Canadian jazz singer, television host, actress, and civic leader Eleanor Collins died on March 3 at the age of 104. British singer, songwriter, and musician, best known as the frontman of the band, Cockney Rebel, Steve Harley, died of cancer on March 17 at age 73. American Hall of Fame baseball player, executive, and manager, Whitey Herzog, died on April 15 at age 92. American professional football player, two-time Super Bowl champion Andy Russell died on February 29th at the age of 82. American television director and producer who worked on The Late Show with David Letterman, Jerry Foley, died on March 10th at age 68. American baseball player who won the 1955 World Series, Carl Erskine, died on April 16th at age 97. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.